Hi everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fab week. Um, I got my little flexi finger right here. It's all ready to go. It kind of dawned on me recently that I actually haven't done a mermaid nail before. I, I can't ever remember doing a mermaid type design, apart from one with a very fancy tail, which I never ever recorded because it was so long ago. So I thought this week, we're just going to jump in and try a little mermaid design. So starting off with my builder gel, I'm going to go in with that there as my base. Obviously, if this was a natural nail, I would have it all prepped and ready to go. So the surface shine removed and uh, dehydrated and primed and all that good stuff. So, um, but otherwise we're just going to go ahead and get that little foundation down. Um, I'm starting off with a slip layer and then I'm going to go in and build that up just a little bit so that we have a bit of a uh, surface to work on, but it's still quite thin. Um, I just don't want to break it whenever I take the, the form off. So anyway, so once I'm happy with that there, then we're just going to go in for a cure. Okay, so here's the nerve wracking bit for me, and this is just taken off the form. As usual, you pinch it in and just kind of like uh, pull it down before you bring the wee tabs off. I hate this bit because it's always, it's such a narrow platform that you're working with and you're kind of like, oh, I don't want it to break. Hence why I keep my sellotape on there just in case, just in case, because it has happened before. Um, but once I have the tacky layer removed and then I just kind of like very, very, very gently tidy up those sides, and uh, and just wipe off the dust as well too we're going to go in with our cool uh, one step pink and um i just left a small bead of it and i put it sort of you know i, I want to extend the nail bed right a wee bit obviously because this is a very long nail so we want to do that to kind of make it look um kind of make it look balanced if you will so if you pop a wee bead on and sometimes if you just sort of hold it down because this um is very much self-leveling um you can kind of get a nice c curve with just letting gravity sort of do its thing and then you can flash cure it and then all i do is i just go in with my cuticle bead and then i can bring it down as well a little further just to kind of enhance that c curve because i want a nice kind of um a nice sharp one if you will so i'm going to be using tara and helen and also i believe it's nikita i think as well too yep it is yes it's nikita um i was just kind of showing you helen there because she's absolutely gorgeous and so using these three colors <clears throat> i'm just kind of going to blend them in together and um i'm starting off there with tara and then i'm going to go into Oh no, I'm not. I'm starting off with Helen, sorry. And then I'm going to go in there and use a wee bit of Tara. And then I'm going to use some Nikita as well, uh, just at the end there. So it's almost like we've sort of got the, the green, sort of turquoisey green, get into the blue and then into the purple. So really nice kind of mermaidy colours. And um, once I'm happy with my application, then we're going to go in for a cure. Okay, so now we're all cured. It's time to get rid of that inhibition layer, get rid of all that sticky stuff. And we're gonna go in with some stamping. This is the Moe London plate. I think it's a sailor plate. And some Moira, this is the gel stamping polish. Um, so it does need cured before, obviously, um, once it goes onto the nail. But I'm just gonna put that onto the plate. I leave it for a couple of seconds to just kind of like sink in a bit to the design. And then using my trusty bits card, my bits gift card, um, or whatever scraper you have, I just scrape that along and then roll the stamper over that. And then any little bits, I can just kind of tidy up with my scraper before I um, apply that onto the nail wherever I want it. It's the only thing about some of the Moe London plates is that they're still, they are quite small for big designs, but I did only want this uh, sort of a little bit in the middle anyway. But here we have some Stardust, obviously from Nail Sugar. We're sprinkling that gorgeous silver holographic uh, fine glitter over that. It's just so beautiful. And then we're gonna go in for a cure. 
I love Vespa. I love dusting off that sparkle just to reveal the design. It's just, I love that bit. Um, but anyway, onto more glitter because you can never have enough of it. This is ethereal and I'm using my Cool One Stuff gel and I'm going to apply a little bit just around the smile line and a little bit more too as well down at the free edge um, because this is kind of where I want to place my chunkier glitter. This is how I apply it. So um, I've sprinkled some into a little triangle dish and I'm just applying it with an old nail art brush. Um, and just kind of like positioning it as and where I want it. And uh, and then once I'm happy with that there, then we're gonna go in for a double cure just to kind of secure that in place. Okay, so with kind of a lamp, we have our glitter all frozen into place, and now we're going to encapsulate the whole design in our Cool One Step Gel. So, as you can see, I'm putting a slip layer down, and that slip layer is really going to help whenever it comes to encapsulating, especially over glitter. You kind of want to let it set for a few seconds, and um, and that's just going to make life so much easier because obviously gel follows gel. So. This is me now getting in obviously with my encapsulation beads and just kind of like walking it down the nail as you can see. And I will do a nail this length in sections obviously. And um, just so I'm not kind of like putting masses of gel on at once and it going everywhere, especially if you're using a self-leveling gel because it will move. Once I'm happy enough with that, we're gonna go in for another cure. Okay, so now it's time to get rid of that inhibition layer again and to file and buff and refine and now we're just going to get off any excess dust and wipe that down with a lint-free pad before top coating. So I thought I would leave this in real time so you can see the colours and the sparkles come to life. And there we go, that is our finished look. I absolutely adore doing this nail, and in fact, I think this is maybe my favorite design to date. I just really like it. I love those beautiful turquoise and blues and purples all coming through with the sparkles. It just looks so, so, so pretty. So I really enjoyed this, and I hope you did too. If so, give me a thumbs up, leave me a little comment down below, say hello, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And um, I will be back next week with another design. So take care, stay safe, and I will see you all again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.